Hey, Mrs. Good morning. I don't know. It's like the navy blue and the white. It's speaking to me. We're freshening up, Tracy. You're freshening <laughs> up. And we're in your space. We're in your mad mod space. Do you know what, Tracy? We absolutely love the whole mid-century modern thing, but yes. sometimes it can be really, really pricey to buy all those gorgeous bits and pieces. Now, what is mid-century modern? Well, it's a period after the Second World War, and I want you to think about mid-century modern in terms of mad men yes. and all of that gorgeous lifestyle in Palm Springs. But today, our secret is all about mid-mod made. Virtually everything that you can see here is a Colin and Justin project Ooh. or a really dramatic hack. So throughout the show, we're going to show you all the magic spells. Amazing. Ooh. Did you make that plant? We <laughs> didn't quite make that. Our yeah, exactly. don't quite stretch to godly everything stuff like that. Yeah, everything else. Exactly. We had some have assistance from Mother Nature for the plant. Well, everything is so, I mean, like, Sculptural, you feel like that you're you're sort of in it, and everything has its own is an art piece, mm. right? Let's actually start with the art on the wall. Did you guys make the art? We did. Yeah, that's um, so amazing. We, these are stretch canvases from Dessert, yeah. and uh, we just painted them in some red and blue paint from cool. Benjamin Moore. But then, because you know, when you think of mid mode, you think of all the beautiful exotic timbers and walnut, yes. beautiful. So we actually got some film. This is from a company called Panel. Okay. And they produce film that you can transform your furniture with. So it's like really sophisticated, sticky back plastic. Ah. Um, but it comes in so many different wood tones. And there is a little kind of like wood grain in there. Yes. Which just gives it a feel of luxury, okay? So no one's going to panel their entire room in walnut. But no. you might add a walnut touch to a canvas. And the good thing about that particular product is it's microporous. So when you start to flatten it out, it doesn't do that horrible bubbling thing and then mm. sticking all over the place. Mm -hmm. You could also spray a little bit of kind of washing up soda on there, washing up liquid in water. <laughs> yeah. and that allow you to move it more quickly. Nice. But, Ms. Moore, let's yes. talk about this wall installation over here. Now, Incredible. We love to use things differently, and we shop a lot in a, in a store called Umbra, a brilliant, yes. uh, brilliant shop in the centre of Toronto on John Street. And we were in there organising our closets and our wardrobes, and we found these scarf tidies. Oh, now, I just absolutely are. love them. They're like coat hanger stroke scarf tidies. Yeah. And they've got that really lovely shape with the kind of the faceted diamonds and stuff in the middle, and the triangles, and it's very redolent of that whole period. So we thought, right. what about if we max up on steroids, a whole whack of them together? <laughs> And all of a sudden, you know, this would be a great room divider in a really cavernous space to allow you to still see from zone to zone, yes. but without obstructing your visual eye lines. This, I have to say, is one of my favourite things ever. It's so easy. Just stick them onto a pole. Oh, oh hello. Did one fall off? Have you just Did dropped it? Did you drop a wire? <laughs> so, note to self. This is the, no, this is the sort of thing anyone can try. Does Anybody? anyone look at you weird when you go to the store and you say, I'll take 72? Well, they were like, are you sure you don't mean five? Because we placed an order for 57 rows of seven. And yeah. we're like, no, there is a zero on there as well. So, right. it's all about looking at stuff differently. No, exactly. I think it's amazing. And I just think that it's it's easy enough for most of our viewers to achieve at home. So, that is lovely. Yeah. Okay, so from the gorgeous art to the beautiful wall, where do you want to go now? Uh, you know, let's go to the table and the day bed. Yeah. Um, so, they actually started off life as just basic tabletops from Ikea. Yes. You know, but rather than put Ikea legs on them, we thought, let's mix it up a little bit with these wonderful hairpin legs that are still kind of like really redolent of that whole period. Now, these are by Rebarn in Toronto. They actually make these to order. Oh, and you okay. can add them to any piece of furniture, any top you want as well. So one is fantastic, long as a big, long console table there. But if you actually take two of the tabletops, screw them together to make it a little bit stronger, yes. and then put smaller hairpin legs underneath, you create a day bed. Nice. You know, in day beds, you think of like Mies van der Rohe and all these yeah. wonderful designers from the mid-century. It's all about the lounge, okay? You're in Palm Springs, you're flat out. You Is there a martini involved, in Colin? <laughs> exactly. Even in the morning. You're lying there looking up at your spiky balls and you're like, life is good. Now, talking okay. about those spiky I balls. I, uh, I know. Can those we talk are about white, these spiky balls? White styrofoam balls from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah. with little bamboo skewers, you know, the things that you use on your barbecue. Yes. Threaded through there and spread gold that is so easy but one thing I want to talk about we didn't touch on when we were on so the back cool. wall Tracy yes is when you think mid-century modern you think of really long stretched rectilinear shapes right. big long fireplaces against travertine walls for example so we've tried to create the illusion of that whole stretched fireplace feel by doubling up floating shelves from Ikea and allowing them to project actually wider than the chimney breast now it's a really simple thing to do yeah. it doesn't involve any more skill set to put them on that way and to scale them larger than the wall that they're sitting on or 
the or the raised area of wall that they're sitting on. And again, we've picked up the same paint effect and the wood veneer below there All to right. give you that kind of dramatic coloration that you'd have seen typically in mid mode. So these are float these are floating shelves. Yeah, yes. just regular oh my floating gosh, shelves from IKEA with a with a Colin and Justin yeah. treatment. Kidney table down here. We're going yep. to show you that being made later on as well. Yeah. And also this little lamp. We're going to show you how we made, oh, that, you too. made that too. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And of, of course, you can shop for the look as well. You know. Yes. So if you're not into your DIYs, you can shop for the look. We love this little Jacks rug here. It's by a company called Prunel. Yeah, it's perfect. Love that. And love the sofa as well. The deep buttons there, the really thin legs. That's kind of square, boxy nature. And yes. Beautiful old leather as well. That's from EQ3. It is indeed. And the Sheridan Nurses, which we love and we, we use a lot, they have a fantastic stock of foliage. Now, when you want to get that whole mid-century feel, that kind of 1960s, 1970s feel, almost like Rhoda. Remember Rhoda? Oh, you yes. Want a rubber plant or a castor yes. oil plant. Yes. Something with big fleshy leaves that really makes a statement. That yeah. is a must, exactly. for sure.